Hi, I'm Mo. I'm Genoa. And today we're having the, the sex talk. talk. And today, especially, we're having the sex talk with Jen. Jen. <laughs> Hi, Jen. Hi. Hi. Good to so, see you, guys. you had some questions about dating. I did have some questions about dating, um, which I've just started doing. And you were in a relationship. I was for a long in a relationship time. for eleven years, mm -hmm. and for a year ago, broke up. And I've been dating a few women, and at the same time. So I've been curious about what is the protocol around when you're dating this. I mean, I both of them know about each other, which is, I think, honest and uh, not all the details. But when you're with one, do you like say you get a text from the other one, and you're with one? Do you text them back, or do you? be cool and just say, okay, I'm with the other one, I'm not going to interact with the other one. Right. That's kind of what got confusing. And then, do they find out? Then do you say? Uh, I just want to be honest. And sure. I, don't know. I think this is such a great question. Um, what are the boundaries yes. about dating several people? And I have, I'll, I'll state what I feel, and then I'm sure Jenna has some opinions of her own that she'll talk about. But I think that, um, number one, if you're on a date with someone, you shouldn't really be checking your phone unless you might be expecting some like work email or something and it's really great for you to state that at the beginning of the date you know like I might be getting a phone call I do have to check my email a couple times because I'm expecting a couple of important emails kind of go into the scenario letting the person know that you might be checking your phone or if you do check your phone state it say I apologize for checking my phone like I don't think that you necessarily like we live in this age where everyone's constantly on their phone but it can easily cross the yeah. line into rude yeah so you're saying that no matter how many people you're dating you should not be on your phone on a date right I love that I think that's great yeah, that's and respectful yeah and I think we all need to learn that. that came up for me and it became an issue oh yeah wasn't oh. good oh so oh. <laughs> I feel bad, and then I'm like, I did something wrong, I feel bad, and then I said, well, we didn't set any boundaries. See, that's it, you have to have agreements. I love boundaries. Yes, my and favorite that's word. And I'm learning yeah. the boundaries, yeah. that's good for me, so it was a good test for my boundaries. I feel like Mo probably has something to say about agreements and boundaries in a relationship. Always. <laughs> Always. And to sort of to sort of go off on, you know, you dating two people, I think that's great. Whether it's two people or ten people, honesty is always the best policy. But again, you don't need to be telling everybody every detail about right. your life. And necessarily you don't even need to be telling them names of all the people that you're dating. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like the that's lesbian hard. community might be different. It's small. It's small, it's small. and that's where things get a little strange. I, I yeah. have you experienced that? Not yet, okay. but it's possible, yes. And jealousy is a big issue. Yes, and that's what it came up. Because I didn't know the boundary, and to be honest, one of them was staying with me for a few days. Okay, well that's so there different. Was that's not communication a started happening with the other one, oh. and it came up and I said, I am so sorry that I hurt your feelings. I didn't know that this was a boundary for us. I right. didn't. And it's funny because one of them is very emotional and communicates that way and the other one doesn't. Right. So I don't even know where I am with one. And I'm trying to be cool and she's much younger than me and then the other one is more, more my age and mm. more mature mm. emotionally. And what was she doing at your house for three days, if I may ask? <laughs> well, we had... Because that's kind of an extended date. It is an extended date. <clears throat> and I've known her longer. She's she very lives, lesbian. She lives out of town, too. So okay. Okay. Kind of okay. But I think the game. rules need to be redefined <laughs> sometimes when you have sleepovers. Because right. they do suggest, in my opinion, and maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> that if someone's spending the night, um, and then you're spending the next day together, you've sort of crossed the threshold from dating to seeing each other. Exactly. And, and that's kind of happening with There's both. labels. But yes. Yes. No, I think labels are important. But the bottom line, I think, is that you have these conversations with people, have agreements, find out what people's expectations are. Mm -hmm. Because um, until you understand what each person wants out of this relationship, and it's a relationship, you know what I mean, an it's interaction. It's still a relationship, for We're sure. All, like, we all have relationships with Yeah, so I feel like the conversation needs to happen of what are the expectations of where we're at right now. And I know that, that lesbians process a lot 
<laughs> but if it's if it's processing that's actually getting somewhere right. and getting on effective, the same page, effective processing. Yeah, that's I think that's, that's great. The key, being direct yeah. and not so I think you being kind of around float into it and you just don't know where you are. And I think right. being direct and saying, "Oh, well, I didn't know this was a boundary," which is what happened with her. Right. She, and then she came around and said, "Okay, it seems like then we're communicating again." Right. I feel like that so. is effective conflict resolution. That that mm. she said, "This hurt my feelings," and you said, "Oh, golly." I didn't know. I, maybe you said golly. And gosh, <laughs> gosh, golly. Gosh, darn it. And then, and then you came to a resolution, and now you are at a new place where you know what her expectations are. Yeah. You're happy to meet them in that way. And that's, that is what happens when you but date. But I want to say also that, yeah, you, you know now, but it, they're constantly changing. Yes. So it's a conversation, yes. and I love that you say that lesbians process all the time, that, that it needs to be effective. It can't be... Well, you said this last week, and it right. needs to be more like, well, this was my understanding of it, and I recognize that things change. I mean, it's important for us right. to recognize the decibel in which we communicate, mm -hmm. to recognize the way we communicate by mm -hmm. using I statements as opposed to pointing the finger. Exactly. I think mm -hmm. that's very important. And also when, like for me a little bit, I spent more time with uh, um, one that's more my age around the holidays, and it was many days together. And so you start feeling a little more towards that one, and then it's just, it feels complicated to it me. It is complicated. It does. Your feelings start to change, and then you like, do I go back to the other one, or do I say, you know, maybe I need to have a break with you? Right. And, <clears throat> and it is hard when you get closer to one. Uh, I mean, unless you are, I feel like there are people who are maybe strictly polyamorous, and they are able to compartmentalize, but. I don't. I don't think that's true for everyone. And you do get closer, and then it's weird with the other one. And mm -hmm. yeah, I, that's part of the dance. And yeah. there's different types of polyamorous. You can be polyamorous where you're an individual and you have several people that you date, or you could be polyamorous where it's you and you. You eventually choose one of those girls to be your primary partner, mm -hmm. and you continue to date the other person mm -hmm. on a more casual, casual basis, basis yeah. even though you right. just be honest with everyone and yeah. everybody needs to know yeah. what you are. Yeah. Yeah. And it's okay for that shift might happen more naturally with one person as mm -hmm. opposed to the other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. And I think that's enough for today. <laughs> 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 we processed enough. Yeah.